Hey ITA for throwing away the expensive whiskey my brother got me for my 40th. I'm 40 male, just turned 40 last week. I'm divorced and have two teenage kids with my ex-wife, 17 male and 14 female. My whole family came to my and my girlfriend's apartment last Saturday for my birthday party. My parents, some aunts and uncles, some cousins, my three brothers with their families, my two kids, and my girlfriend's 15 year old son who lives with us. I'm a recovered alcoholic. I've been sober for six years now. Alcohol absolutely ruined my life. It destroyed my marriage and nuked my relationship with my kids for years. I don't allow alcohol in my home now for anyone. It just isn't served or tolerated here. My entire family knows this very well as they know my entire history with alcohol. For my 40th, my brother bought me a very expensive bottle of whiskey. It had writing on it, a very heavy bottle and very old whiskey. So it probably cost him a couple hundred bucks. When he gave me the bottle, I was shocked and said, I don't drink, but thanks for the gift. He then opened the bottle and started pouring shots in plastic cups for everyone. My daughter had a panic attack at the smell of alcohol, which I am painfully aware of, which I am painfully aware is my fault, and I will never forgive myself for it. So I told my brother to take the alcohol out to the balcony and just leave it there. He wouldn't do it and took a shot of the whiskey. I told him to seriously stop it and he proceeded to pour the whiskey. He then said I am acting like a sober saint now when I ruined everyone's birthdays for years with my drinking. I told him to come to the hallway with me and talk it out. He refused and put a glass of whiskey in my hand. I took the trash can, threw the whiskey bottle in it and the plastic cups and took the trash out. My brother then stormed off and my mom followed him. She later called me demanding an apology for disrespecting my brother like that. My dad said I was being overly sensitive and some of my other family members agree. AITA here? My grandma gave me the idea. Petty revenge at its finest. Years ago, when my husband and I got married, we had a decent sized wedding, 100 plus people that we paid for ourselves. Because we were still fairly young and not making a ton of money, I tried to save where I could. I hired local people and friends to do things at a discounted price, and because I worked at a four-star restaurant banquet facility, I was able to talk them into doing the wedding reception for a cost as long as I provided A, B, and C. Basically, we had an amazing wedding for a very low price. However, it was still a fairly large amount per person, somewhere between 17 to 20 per plate. Not too bad, but not cheap. Anyways. The invites go out and after a bit the RSVP cards start to pour in and like I said we ended up with over 100 plus people maybe almost 130 that would be a that would be attending my aunt was one of those people she RSVP'd for her her husband and their son my cousin wedding day comes we get married reception time and my aunt and family is no show I noticed because I only have two I'm irritated but more worried something may have happened However, the following Monday, I got a card in the mail from the um, poor check for $10. No apology, just signed with a congrats statement. Nothing personal, I was so disappointed. So I call her mother, ha ha ha, my grandma, and tell her what happened. She instantly says, that doesn't even cover the cost of the meal she wasted when she didn't show up. What a cheapskate. I hadn't even crossed my mind at the time. Then she says the best thing ever. You know, your aunt is super OCD about her checkbook. Don't cash that check, it'll drive her mad. I didn't, and it did. It also drove my narcissistic mother crazy because she got all the calls asking when I was going to cash the check. Guess she was too embarrassed by then to call me. A win-win. The best part is I kept the check and left it inside the card. I have a habit of keeping all my cards, and every once in a while, I'll pull out the card. I'll pull that card out and look at that check, and it always makes me feel like the pettiest be alive. Apartment manager doesn't take cash for two cent bill. Malicious complaints ensues. In 2019, I moved into an apartment complex in Celebration, Florida to a condo. As usual, when you move out of an apartment, you get a final bill, which includes your last month's prorated rent, deductions for damages, security deposit refunds, and the like. We paid it. The next month, I get a call from my wife who says that we've got a follow-up bill in the mail from the apartment management company for two cents. We bo were both in the tech field, so we laughed at the company's IT department didn't catch the edge case of spending 50 cents in postage to collect two cents in revenue, but it happens. My wife prints out a copy of the bill. I grab two cents from the change jar. The apartment complex is on my daily drive, so I swing by the office. I walk in and tell the manager that I'm here. 
that I want to pay my last bill. I say, it's two cents, here's the bill. I have the two cents if you want it. The manager says, we don't take cash, nothing else. There was an awkward pause. I say, I don't expect you to take cash. I expect us both to have a laugh about how so the computer systems are and for you to write off the two cents because it would cost you more to process the payment. She says, I'm not going to do that. Again, awkward pause. I say, so you want me to write you a check for two cents and mail it and you're going to process that check. The manager says, yes, send us a check and we'll process it and then walks back into her office to end the conversation. So I go home and set up an automatic monthly bank payment to my apartment complex for three cents. And then because I'm a programmer, I write some code and send, I write some code to send a letter once per month saying, I'm so sorry, I've overpaid my bill. Please send me a check for the overpayment. And I use an online service that sends postcards in ridiculous sizes up to around 18 inches by 24 inches. Figuring that'll be my escalation strategy. The first of them the next month, I get a call from the apartment company's regional manager. After introducing himself, the next two minutes with the most sincere, oh gosh, we made a mistake. Please don't do this, we'll never contact you again. Apology anyone could have hoped for. I stopped the mail and never heard from them again. I Did I spend several hours on MC for two cents? Yes, was it worth it? Absolutely. 